All right, uh, what's up guys? I kind of wanted to go over this with you guys just to show you this. I just bought this this year and it's uh, pretty cool and it's an easy and fast way to uh, fletch your arrows. It's, uh, it's different from like the Bittenberger jigs where you can only do one fletching at a time. This is a, uh, it's a boning triple tower jig. Um, I purchased this for like 60 bucks off Amazon and so far I absolutely love it. Um, it comes with like uh, three degree, three degree right helical. You can get a left, but you have to special order that. They sell the arms right here separately, and it comes with uh, a straight fletch and then an offset. Um, I've been running the three degree right helical. I know right now it's really popular to do the left helical or whatever. Uh, but to each their own. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm gonna like set some arrows up here and show you how this works. So. Um, Today I'm going to put some wraps on my arrows, I'm going to do one, show you guys what that's like, and then uh, we'll get some fletchings put on it. If you guys don't know, I'm, right now I'm in my little, uh, this is my little, kind of my little hunting dojo off the side of my garage. I uh, built a room here that where I could kind of just get away for whatever, if I'm stressed out or I just need some quiet time, you guys know how that goes, uh, so this is that room for me, but uh, I really enjoy this room. So let me get this wrap on here real quick. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm not the best at doing wraps, but I'm not the worst. There we go, I like that. All right, so there's one wrap right there. I'm using these boning wraps, and today I'm gonna to be using the boning heat veins. Uh, I, I like the boning veins over some of the other ones, like AAE and stuff like that, just just for the fact that uh, you don't have to use like the primer pins and stuff on those. I, I actually clean my arrows with just like some regular rubbing alcohol, and you can clean your uh, fletchings like that too. Um, where did I put my fletchings? Yeah, so these are the fletchings that I'm going to be running, uh, the bone and heat veins. I like these because I'm right now I'm shooting a Matthews V3, and it just seems like the way that uh, they drop the cable guard down on that, that when you're running a high-profile vein, it's really close to um, hitting the, the, yeah, it's really close to hitting the cable guard. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I've got these just to try to avoid that as much as possible. So once you got your wrap on good and everything like that, and again, you don't have to use wraps. I'm just using this uh, because I like them. I like to be able to see my arrows. I like a little bit of color, that kind of stuff. So here's the tower jig. And like it has these three things that you just open up here and you're gonna put the fletchings down at the bottom of each of those. And then you have a post right here and that's what your arrow is gonna sit on. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit that down in here for you guys. Now that I got that in here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on my fletchings. And I try to do like three dabs, like one at the top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom. And then I uh, spread it down from there. So one, two, and three and then I'll then I'll usually just take the tip of my uh, glue thing here whatever you want to call this and spread it out just like so and then I will stick it down into here and in reality I probably should have uh, Put the glue on after I had it in there. I don't know why I skipped that. I guess I was in a hurry. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it while it's on there so I don't get glue all over my fingers. Okay, one, two, three. Then we're gonna spread that out. You don't want to get too much glue on here because when you get too much glue, it starts to 
overflow onto the arrows or whatever. If you do, it's not a big deal. Just get you a rag and uh, wipe it off. Pretty simple. Once you get your arrows fletched, you're gonna close that up and you're gonna find whichever one of these fits over it and you're gonna slide it down like so. And you're just gonna push it down like that and let that sit for like 20 seconds or so. And then once it's dry, you just pull it off and hopefully we'll have a perfectly fledged arrow. Let's see. All right, so that's probably good. I'm gonna slide that over and then we're gonna open these like so. And just like that, you can see you have a perfectly fledged arrow. And then I'm just gonna take this and wipe off any of the excess glue. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed that tip.